In the Chumash creation myth, Mother Earth created a rainbow bridge that connected the Channel Islands to the mainland. She led her people above and across the Pacific Ocean to the Golden Coast. Imagine this movement of a community over water and onto dry land into Southern California. This is but one story of this place and its culture, layered like rock sediment and displaced by those who came after. A Tongva Indian village becomes a neighborhood for families. It's called Chavez Ravine. 352 acres of this land is eventually taken to build Dodger Stadium. It's an all too familiar story. The Spaniards claimed Los Angeles as their own and christened it El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Angeles. Watch it become Mexican territory and then in 1850, part of the United States. Here, nothing is fixed. As this place changed and expanded, even the water was displaced. Infamous civil engineer William Mulholland made sure the growing city was hydrated and sated by water that was carried from the mountains to the Cascades and Silmar, a journey through an aqueduct that stretched over 200 miles, an ancient need coupled with the marvels of technology. And not long after came its colossal storm drain sibling, the Los Angeles River, leading us out to the ocean. Bodies in motion will stay in motion. Do you feel that? The ferocious whoosh of the Santa Anas, winds that bite off palm fronds and spit them across Sunset Boulevard, that infamous desert phenomenon, inspiring everyone from Raymond Chandler to Joan Didion to Walter Mosley and Steph Cha to put Los Angeles on paper. Not that it's easy to capture this city. Los Angeles, LA, La La Land, Tinseltown. Did you know that this city of motion pictures started out as a city on the run? In the 1900s, studios bought LA land because it was cheap and because they could escape the patents of Thomas Edison, who was way back east in West Orange, New Jersey. We move the world with our stories, our close-ups, our wide shots, trombones and drones. After all, Union Station can be dressed to look like an old bank in, well, New Jersey. But as former LA Poet Laureate Luis Rodriguez writes, to truly love LA, you have to see it with different eyes. Askew, perhaps, beyond the fantasy-induced Hollywood spectacles. This is a city of trailblazers and innovators, activists and advocates, at the edge of the nation and at the cutting edge of thought. Los Angeles fosters independence and lets ideas flourish. Our nearly four million residents move across 500 square miles of city every day, caught in a cat's cradle of freeway or riding down wide boulevards. Wilshire, Pico, La Cienega, La Brea. Encant them like a prayer. Feel the force that is this city. Let yourself be pulled into its flow. So many people and ideas shuttling by, interacting, exchanging information and inspiration. It's no wonder LA is home to more museums per capita than any other city in the world. A public library serving the largest population and more than 230 colleges and universities. Perhaps all it takes to see this city properly is to taste it, to try our food. Los Angelinos hail from 140 nations and we speak 224 languages. And our diverse culture means our food is as varied and unique as our residents. Our neighborhoods reflect this vibrant array of people. Each has its own gems to discover. The Art Deco Vision Theater at Lemert Park is alive with performances and the rhythms of a drum circle. Outside the busy shops in Chinatown, red paper lanterns hang from pagoda-inspired architecture. LA is home to the only officially recognized Thai town in the United States. In Boyle Heights, musicians dressed to the nines in embroidered three-piece suits sing their hearts out in Mariachi Plaza. You never know what you might find in LA. Feel that? A cool breeze whispering in from the ocean as the sun begins to set. Suddenly, it feels like jacket weather. You might think that LA has no seasons, when in fact, on some days, we have four in a single 24-hour period. At dusk, the 4,000 acres of Griffith Park make you feel like you've left the city. The historic merry-go-round from 1926 inspired Walt Disney to create the happiest place on earth. 
And when night falls, the observatory reveals the stars above, or better yet, the neighborhoods below spread out for miles. LA is its own galaxy of lights. Speaking of lights, a century ago, the Hollywood sign was lit up by 4,000 light bulbs switched on and off by a man who lived in a nearby cabin. The city is famous for the images it creates, but it's the people who live here and the humanities, art, culture, and community they foster that make this city buzz. To be in LA is to join this current, to feed off this playful, delightful, and eclectic energy. Feel that? It's LA you're feeling. Move through the city and be moved by it.